Hey everybody, it's Kathy Boyle, president of Chapin Hill Advisors. Today we're introducing another member of our circle of influence. We designed our circle of influence to allow you to find experts who you can trust. When you go to hire an expert, I don't care if it's a CPA or a handyman, making a mistake with that expert is expensive in terms of time and money. Everybody sounds great on paper, but when the pedal hits the metal, do they really do what they say they will do? You can trust our experts. They will absolutely execute with professionalism, ethics, integrity, and they're really nice. So we love our members. So today let's talk to Jennifer Gilman, Gilman Strategic Resources. Jennifer, you call yourself a law firm matchmaker. Where did that originate? And let's how did that come to be? So I uh, thank you for having me, Kathy. And um, law firm matchmaker came from feeling like it's a professional marriage. I've made a couple of marriages in my social life. I, I have a knack for knowing who might like to spend some time together. And we thought that sometimes people change jobs without thinking it through. We hope that everyone we place stays forever. Oh, that's great. I love that. So you're a former attorney yourself. So you actually understand what a lawyer faces on a day-to-day -day basis. I do, and I think it makes the people I work with feel more comfortable because I know where they're coming from and I know all about their need for confidentiality and the uh, hesitation they might feel working with a recruiter who wouldn't keep their confidentiality. Right, so let's talk about, you have a real niche. So you help partners who are unhappy where they are, find a better home, find a better match, so to speak, right? So let's talk about that. Why would a partner be unhappy? Well, it comes down to a few different buckets. Usually they feel unsupported. They don't have the right staffing or marketing or resources of some kind. They feel unappreciated. They feel like the firm doesn't value what they're contributing, whether it's their clients or their time, or there's something about the firm that the clients are getting uncomfortable with. It could be a rate issue or needing some extra areas of law or maybe some other geographic areas. That is usually what it comes down to. Okay. And is there a specific um, area of law, Do litigators, you know, trust estate, uh, HR? Um, what kinds of lawyers do you help? Well, generally we are agnostic as to the type of law, but the firms that we're going to be placing the candidates with are more um, corporate and company facing and not individual facing. So it's usually not going to be, um, you know, individuals suing big companies or personal injury or anything like that. It's going to be corporate and litigation and labor and employment and real estate and IP. And the only um, individual type of practices will generally be trusts and estates planning for high net worth individuals and the same on the family law side for high net worth individuals who are getting divorced. Got it. So it fits in with the culture of the new firm. Yeah. So the firm that you're looking to bring them in, um, you know those well, and you can feel whether or not the, the environment is correct for the, the person you're talking to. Is that the genesis of what you do? Generally, you got it exactly right. Um, we make a wish list when we first meet. What are What is that person looking for? What's going wrong where they currently are? What are they hoping to find in the new platform? And I keep abreast of the legal market. And I these are the people that I socialize with and the people that I network with. So I do generally know a lot of the firms already, but we do uh, have some very strong databases that allow us to look look for even um, additional firms that uh, we wouldn't have known about otherwise. Okay, and you yourself are located in central New Jersey, but um, you're growing. So what are your markets? Well, we started out with New York, New Jersey, and South Florida as our footprint, and we've been pursuing a 50-state uh, market, and right now we're working in those original three markets and also in Boston and Texas and the Western states, and it's been... Um, we're looking to add some other recruiters, but right now I've got somebody who sits in Baltimore and somebody who sits in Pennsylvania. And um, if anybody out there who's listening would like to be a recruiter, please feel free to reach out. 
<laughs> that's great. So that's wonderful. You can recruit for yourself as well. And how about if I'm unhappy? I'm a law lawyer and I'm thinking of making a move, but I'm not really sure. And I certainly don't want it to get out to any of my friends and my colleagues in my firm that I'm thinking of leaving. What, what do I do? Well, I understand that hesitation and I take confidentiality very seriously. I practiced law for 12 years myself and I understand the hesitation in talking with a recruiter. Some of them are not the type of recruiter that I would like to be. Um, we actually have a way to ask a confidential question on our website and a way to sign up for a confidential um, Zoom appointment, if you would like. And I often just give people a view of the market. They want to make sure they're being paid fairly. They want to make sure they have the resources they could expect somewhere else. They want to make sure that they're appreciated where they are and that things wouldn't be, the grass wouldn't be greener at another firm. And a lot of times I have to tell them that it looks pretty good where they are and it's not going to be different somewhere else. I'm not in it to convince people that they're unhappy. We're just trying to help change the the unhappiness that a lot of lawyers feel well our, our tagline is because successful lawyers deserve to be happy too i love it i love it wonderful so how would i find you well we have a website um www.gilmanstrategicgroup.com and we're always on linkedin we try to post a lot of helpful content if you want to follow us there Terrific. And Gilman has two L's to remember that, Jennifer. Yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. Wonderful. We're delighted to have you as a, as a member of our circle of influence.